From the moment I decided to play football at Harvard, I questioned whether I'd made the right decision. While Harvard was obviously a great opportunity, it was far away from home, and I'd always wanted to play football at a bigger school in Texas. When I came to Harvard, I continued to question whether I was doing what God wanted me to do. I was um, moved from quarterback to defensive back, a position that I didn't really want to play. I then proceeded to dislocate my shoulder, have shoulder surgery, miss my entire season, which meant it was harder for me to develop friendships with my teammates. Um, at the same time, I didn't have as much time to study in school and my identity was really wrapped up in my grades. And when my grades suffered, um, I felt ashamed. I also was struggling with a high school breakup, wondering if that was even something that I should have done. And to top it all off, um, probably the hardest thing for me, my one of my family members was struggling with severe mental Ill illness and depression. And I felt guilty about not being able to be close to home to provide support. In the midst of all this, I felt anxious, alone, dejected, and part of me was crying out to God to understand what His will was for me. I ended up, uh, by the grace of God, He answered my prayer, and I went to a Young Life uh, leadership class where the topic happened to be about understanding God's will, the very thing that I had been praying for. A verse that stuck out to me was 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, which says to be joyful always, to pray continuously, and to give thanks in all circumstances. I realized that God uh, didn't necessarily care whether I was at Harvard, whether I was closer to home, but he did want me to be joyful and to pray and to give thanks. And being able to apply this to my life um, really transformed the way that I lived. It freed me from a lifelong battle with anxiety, and I experienced more joy and a deeper relationship with Jesus than ever, ever before. And that stuck with me to this day. I'm so thankful to know a God that loves me so much and has such a great will for me in my life. My name is Ricky, and Jesus changed my story.